No, I don't waste no time What's going on guys and welcome back to a new video. For those of you that are new to the channel, my name is Joshua Daniel George, a social media marketing online coach. And in this video, I'm going to break down for you guys how you can get started with social media marketing in 2020. Now, I've already done a video similar to this um, back in February. It's July at the time of recording this, but I just wanted to quickly give a bit of an update video on this because my perception has uh, slightly changed and you know obviously I'm constantly learning myself uh, I often refer to myself as like the guinea pig so I test things out see what works for myself and then basically I uh, pass that on to you guys or to those that are in my coaching program so as you can see here on this uh, virtual whiteboard fun fact I haven't actually got a real whiteboard anymore used to have one in the office but I don't actually have one at home um, so that's why we're using this virtual whiteboard for now. But as you can see, we've got um, uh, four pillars, if you will. And these are basically the four pillars of social media marketing. So what I like to do when I uh, have a business model or a funnel or a flow or anything that I want to map out, I always try and break it down into its simplest form. I try and keep it as simple as possible. You know, I see all these gurus trying to make this sound extremely complex just to confuse you and to sort of try and impress you with their knowledge and skills. But to be fair, social media marketing is extremely simple it's just a service based uh, business model where you offer your services to clients uh, in exchange for a monthly retainer so as you can see these are the four pillars of social media marketing and the first pillar is obviously outreach so you need to be reaching out to businesses um, to see if they actually need your uh, help let me just quickly erase that and go for a black font where do we change that here we go so i think it's black now no it's still gray okay fair enough we have to stay with gray for now then so uh, oh for outreach so the first pillar of social media marketing is reaching out outreach you need to be reaching out to a bunch of businesses um you know again we'll get into the niche picking etc in, in a later stage of this video but the first pillar the first thing you need to do before anything else is to reach out to businesses i see a lot of people getting stuck with this um where they build the website they are unsure about what to do because they don't know how to get results for clients, etc. And I always say, guys, like just, just focus on the outreach first and all the rest will fall into place. And I've done the exact same. You know, I've made this exact mistake myself. When I first started out in 2016, I got into what I like to call the website mentality where um, I'll, you know, I decided, okay, I want to start social media marketing. So the first thing I did was I Googled how to build a website because I thought, okay, if I am an agency, I need this this you know fancy looking website. But I did not know how to build a website, and I didn't have the money at the time to um, you know get someone else to build the website because I actually spent all my money on online courses. Um, so I spent the first month you know basically trying to figure out how to build a website with wordpress i watched all the videos on youtube etc um finally built a website after like a month of trying to figure it all out and then i saw this youtube video of a guy that had a lead magnet i had no idea what a lead magnet was at the time so again went back into discovery mode started looking into lead magnets then i uh, i literally wrote out an entire ebook on like the 10 steps that uh, businesses go wrong or make you know the same mistakes that businesses make um, with social media marketing. So I, I written an entire ebook. Then I tried to figure out how to actually sell it as a lead magnet. And before I knew it, I was like three, four months down the line, and not a single business was reached out to. Not a signal, single message was sent to a potential client. So if you are starting out, the first thing you need to do is outreach okay again like i said we will get into how to do that and how to pick a niche etc in a late stage of the video but i just want to start with the four pillars here so the first pillar is outreach the second pillar is sales okay so you reach out to a business and then the second pillar is you need to sell that business on your service the great or the easiest way to do this is literally ask them okay where are you now 
where do you want to be and if you think that the service that you are offering can take them from A to B then you offer your service then we've got project management which is literally what it says you know you are managing the project so each individual client is or can be seen as an individual project and you need to manage that so you need to make sure that the client is happy that he is getting reports every now and again or updates every now and again that um, basically all of the demands quote unquote of the client are being met kpis are being hit and so on and so forth and in the last pillar is project development and that is actually you getting the results for the clients so actually running the facebook ads if that is what you're offering actually building the website is that if that's what you're offering actually post it on the socials again if that is what you are offering okay so this is smma in its simplest form outreach sales project management project development okay now i have said that this will be you um you know before while explaining this but that does not necessarily mean that you need to be doing every single one of these pillars so for example with outreach you can have uh, appointment setters let me just see if i can actually change this color now no still gray still can't figure out how to change it um has it got something to do with something here ah there we go so that's black so i'll quickly erase this click on the eraser there we go okay so like i said you can get appointment setters to set appointments for you you can find data miners that will find email addresses for you you can even run uh, facebook ads to generate meetings etc you know there are so many ways of doing outreach that does not necessarily need to be you manually reaching out to these businesses okay same goes for sales you can get a high ticket closer to do you know the, the work for you to close the client for you um, you can even just get a sales team that does it for you um, and this can all be on commission basis so for example the appointment set you can say okay you will get 10 percent of the first month for setting the appointments if the client actually closes then the high ticket closer again you can say okay you get 20 percent uh recurring or 40 percent of the first month for example i'm just just making up like basically numbers out loud here um the way my business now is set up that i've just got a full-time employee that basically manages most of the front end for me uh, and i'm extremely grateful for that but when you're starting out you know this is something that you can look into then project management which is basically managing of the client you know speaking to the client communication etc you can just hire a va to do this and this does not have to be expensive you know you've got vas for anywhere from one to three dollars an hour depending on where they are based um you know how fluent they are in english how many how much experience they've got and so on and so forth so you can get a va to do the communication with the client and in terms of project development again it, it sort of does depend on what service you are offering i am offering uh facebook ads and um basically you know funnel generation etc but may, you know my main core offer is facebook ads and i currently do this myself so i'm actually the one that's uh, running the ads in the, on the back end but you can also just get a media buyer to do this on your behalf and a media buyer a good media buyer will be a little bit more expensive most media buyers that i have dealt with uh, nowadays are anywhere between 500 to 800 a month if your media buyer is more expensive than this they will need to be able to back that up with good results uh, but any other team 500 and 800 a month is you know the, the normal price for a decent media buyer now quick disclaimer with the media buyer if um because obviously there are a lot of people nowadays that you know claim to be a media buying expert a facebook ads expert etc um when you are speaking to a potential media buyer always ask to see the business manager always ask to see their portfolio and always give them analyst access to your client and ask them to give a detailed report on what they would do if they actually you know basically got that client um off you so if you know if you outsource that client to the media buyer what they would do in that situation if you think okay this guy's the real deal and um basically this pillar does not um cost you more than 50 percent. so th if this can be outsourced for less than 50 percent of the retainer then 
do it. If not, then I would not go for it because you know you want a healthy profit margin at the end of everything. Um, you know, basically because it's your agency, you, know, you are actually building out this agency. Okay, so that is it in terms of the four pillars. Um, is there a way to like scroll down further, or is there a way to like move this up? Ah, there we go. Okay, so that is moved up. And then, so these are this. This is the this is literally social media marketing in its purest form. The four pillars of social media marketing. So when you are starting out, what I would recommend doing, because again, the mistake that I made was that I created the website. I tried to figure out how to set up a lead magnet. I, I wrote an ebook and stuff like that. What I would do in your situation when starting out, or if I had to start from scratch again now, what I would do is I would create a Facebook profile okay so a not a business profile not a Facebook business page not like that just a personal profile and on that personal profile you'll have a uh, cover photo that looks professional I would remove all tags so you in um, photos of parties and friends etc so remove all the tags why? Because you want this to look as professional as possible. Um, by the way, you can also do LinkedIn if you'd rather do that. So LinkedIn is the next one. But Facebook business profile for me. Uh, Facebook profile, sorry, not a business page, anything like that. Um, what we're going to basically do is build out a profile funnel. So Facebook profile with a professional looking image, a cover photo that explains what you do. So you can have a cover photo with text that says, I help realtors get more leads for or more buyers and sellers, etc., for their estate agents or something like that. Okay. And then another thing you can actually have is a featured image. Okay. So a featured image is basically what you have on the left hand side, just under your bio, um, it's just a quick image that you can upload and basically explains again what you can do for your clients, okay? So this is what you've got uh, on your Facebook profile. So the number one thing that you can do is the Facebook profile or a LinkedIn profile, okay? The second thing I want you to do is to pick a service. Yeah, and in fact, you can actually pick two services, okay, max. So pick two uh, max services. Why? Because we want to sort of niche down what we actually offer them. We don't want to be a jack of all trades here. We don't want to offer SEO, Pinterest, Instagram, uh, blog posts, uh, VA services, social media management, funnel building, etc. Okay, pick two services. Why? Because it will be much, much easier for you in the long run to manage this as a business. So yes, you might have the time now to, to basically take on all of these different types of services, but just think, imagine if you've got like eight, nine clients all requesting all these different types of services, you're gonna be all over the place. So just pick two services max. So for me, if I had to start again, it would be Facebook ads and funnel building. So I'll just put, um, let's see, funnel, Okay, so funnel building and Facebook ads. Those would be the two services that I would offer. You can do social media management, website design. It completely depends on what you want to offer and what kind of agency you want to be. But that is basically what I would choose. Okay, so Facebook ads and funnel building. So now we've got our profile set up. We've got our two services or one service. You, know, you can also just pick one service. That is completely fine. So we now have our social presence. We've got our service. Now it's time to actually start with the first pillar which is outreach. So we need to start reaching out to potential businesses. What I would do is I would look into cold email outreach. Why? Because it's just effective, okay? You can reach out to the owner of any type of business. You know, there's, there's so many different apps for this and plugins. I use hunter.io to basically see, like for example, this uh, website is called awwapp.com. Um, and as you can see here, we've got hello at awap.com, info at, and then this is the CMO, which is uh, Dorita or Doro TA, not sure how you pronounce that. So as you can see here, um, these are emails that I can use to reach out to this software and say, listen, I can run Facebook ads for you guys. Okay, so hunter.io, um, which is what you can use are with our um agency now the entire outreach part is automated slash outsourced we've got like this hybrid 
uh, automation going on. For those of you that are in the coaching program, you guys will know what I mean. Um, but for those of you that are just starting out, start off with cold email or look into Facebook groups. Why? Because regardless of the niche or industry, there are always Facebook groups of that niche or industry. So, for example, if you're going to reach out to spas, there are groups, Facebook groups um, of spa owners that are basically sharing ideas. Okay, if you are reaching out to real realtors, again, there's real estate Facebook groups out there uh, of realtors, you know, basically sharing ideas and, um, you know, helping each other out. So, you know, it's 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 true what they say, you know, you are, you are the average of the five people you spend the most time with. So, everyone that is entrepreneurial, that has their own business, will want to basically surround themselves with other uh, like-minded people. So people that are in the same industry and business. I'm the same. I am always trying to get in contact with uh, successful agency owners, you know, just to pick their brains, to share my knowledge and experience, but also get knowledge and experience back from them. So find Facebook groups and find the groups that they are most likely to be in, okay? So you've got email and you've got Facebook groups, okay? And then the third one, which um, is a sort of low hanging fruit, if you will, is freelancer websites. Why? Because people that put up job posts on freelancer websites are actively looking for people like you to take on their services. So you no longer need to convince these businesses that they need Facebook ads, they need social media management, they need a new website because they already know that and that is why they've put up a job post on these freelancer websites, um, you know, asking for someone to help them. Okay, so the one I like to use is called Upwork. And yes, there are a lot of people that have like Upwork courses and stuff like that. I actually just have a free beginner course that basically explains the entire Upwork business model. Um, and if you want access to that, well, all you need to do, well, there's two ways of getting it basically. You can subscribe to my YouTube channel and click on that little bell icon and I actually run uh, Facebook, uh, YouTube ads, uh, YouTube pre-roll ads, literally only a euro or two euros a day. It's nothing special. Um, I run ads to my subscriber list. So um, you'll basically get an advertisement explaining how you can get access to my course. You might have already seen the, the advertisement. Um, or you can request access to my free lifestyle design Facebook group. It will be linked below. It's the same course because I've gotten that question a lot. It's the same course. Uh, the one in the Facebook group is the same course as the course that you get if you watch the advertisements. But like I said, it explains the entire Upwork business model, how to get onto the platform, how to apply for jobs and how to actually get clients through Upwork. Okay. So we now understand the four pillars. We now understand how to build a social presence. So a Facebook profile, for example, or a LinkedIn profile. We have now picked a service or two services, and we now have three methods of reaching out to potential business owners or with a freelancer website, you know, to, um, or not potential business owners, to potential clients. And then with the freelancer website, we've actually found a client that is actively seeking your help. Okay, now before we actually wrap up this video, I want to share with you guys a Basically a concept that I see a lot of other, let's say gurus frown upon because they say it's unnecessary, it's not needed. But when you are starting out, you literally have nothing, okay? And one of the uh, main issues that I see a lot of people have when starting out is that they are hit with the question, okay, send over your portfolio. Why? Because I'm the same, you know, I've, I've just told you to do the same thing is to ask for portfolio material when you are in contact with a freelancer or someone that's going to take over the Facebook ads. So, you know, you will get hit with this question as well. Um, you People will ask you, okay, show your portfolio. What previous experience have you got? So when starting out, if you have the time, I would highly recommend to offer a free trial, okay? Now, I don't mean to do free work from this point onwards and hope that someday someone will say, listen, I will pay you for it. What I want you to do is, for example, in those Facebook groups, you can do it on email as well if you want, or freelancer, uh, or freelancer websites if you want as well. But go to these Facebook groups and explain that you are a digital marketer, that you have the knowledge um, and you have the work ethic, but basically you don't have the experience, okay? So what you lack in experience, you basically um, compromise with knowledge, okay? So you know exactly what to do, you just haven't got the previous experience to back it up, okay? And then offer four people, so a max of four people, the opportunity to work with you 
in exchange, so it uh, also mentioned that the time is um, less than, let's say, four weeks. You can say uh, two weeks, completely up to you, you know, two weeks, one month, anything like that. So for a limited time, you are opening the doors for four business owners within the niche um, to work with you for free in exchange for a testimonial video and that you can use their, um, so basically their business manager as portfolio material, okay? So you will be doing one month's work for free and you'll get a video testimonial and you are allowed to use their business manager uh, to show other potential clients. Now there's two reasons why I want you to do this. Number one, because it's the easiest way to get a client. Why? Because it's free, okay? So there's no risk on their part. You can literally do this and get a client by the end of this evening. Um, but the main thing that I want you to learn here as well is to, ha to actually go through the process of onboarding the client, of experiencing what it's like to actually set up the four pillars, you know, to, to actually have all of this up and running, to have the agency up and running, to experience what it's like to run the ads, etc. Okay, so yes, you will need to do this yourself. You can't outsource it because you will be out of pocket. But this will give you the experience that you know none of these courses and gurus can basically give you because you're now doing it yourself and the the confidence that you'll build up from this is priceless okay because every single time you speak to a business owner from that point onwards and they hit you with a question you can just say well listen the previous clients uh, had this and this i combated this or i tackled this by doing this and that and then if they say okay well let's see your portfolio you can just send them the case study say listen this is what i've done for client a you are client b i can do the same for you you know uh, sign your name on the dotted line okay so that is why i recommend a free trial when starting out and yes you know there are a lot of people that say yeah but people that um opt in for a free trial they will never become a paying client but that is not what we're trying to achieve here we are literally going to part ways in a month's time and yes you know there might also be some of you guys that are doing such a good job for this client that the client literally says listen let's continue with this i want to pay you for this but we're not going to go into this thinking that that's going to be the outcome okay the outcome is experience portfolio material and a testimonial so in four weeks time you will 100 part ways um well let's say 99 part ways because like i said they're always going to be um businesses that will want to continue with you but this is why I recommend the free trial, okay? Experience, portfolio material, and the testimonial video that you can show to, to the next clients. It's like a almost a boot camp, uh, if you will, for social media marketing because from that moment onwards, um, after you finish there for, the, for that first client, you can go out and actually get a real client. And then if they ask for a portfolio, you've got it. And that way, you know, you will get everything up and running sooner rather than later. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you got some out of it. Leave a comment down below uh, for those of you that are starting out and have some additional questions about this. Or if you want to actually, you know, if you want to actually have my help with all of this, um, I have my own coaching program where I literally take you on as a client and I help you build up the agency from the inside out. So I'll show you how to get your first client, how to get results for that client, how to build out your agency, automate it and scale it so that you too can live life on your own terms. But with that said, I'm going to wrap up this video here. Like the video if you've got something out of it, comment down below what you'd like to see from this channel next. Subscribe to the channel for more and I'll see you all in the next video.